Homelessness Council today, launching the state's new strategic plan to address homelessness statewide. The focus here is to get those experiencing homelessness into some permanent housing. As new specialist Jed Bull shows us, the state has five goals it plans to implement to minimize homelessness. Two years ago, the state legislature charged the Utah Homelessness Council and the Utah Office of Homeless Services with creating a statewide strategic plan to minimize homelessness. It's a data-driven plan aimed at improving lives in permanent homes. What we have is maybe not something that everybody likes perfectly, but we have a balanced plan. They worked with Home Base, a consultant that did a comprehensive study of homelessness throughout Utah. Home Base interviewed community leaders, individuals experiencing homelessness, and other stakeholders. And it's an aggressive plan. And it's really going to take a lot of effort for us as a council and as an office and as providers uh, to meet the goals of our strategic plan. The Homelessness Council approved the plan last month. One of the statements in the plan is that we want to find, we want to have homelessness become rare, brief, and non-recurring. The goals are to increase accessible and affordable permanent housing for people experiencing homelessness across the state, increase access to supportive services and case management, expand homeless prevention efforts by increasing coordination, resources, and affordable housing, target housing resources and supportive services, and promote coordination across multiple systems to support people experiencing homelessness. And it's based on housing. It's based on uh, prevention. Prevention's a big part of where we need to focus. And it's uh, focused on services and coordination. Coordination across departments in the state and coordination across state and local governments. It only works if we all work together. This is a vital journey, and this strategic plan will move us forward. Niederhauser says that they have the legislative funding that they need this year, but they will need a dedicated funding stream to fully implement the plan in the years ahead. For KSL 5 News, I'm Jed Bowl.